Yeah, I get it. It's good. It's perfect. I didn't but you're still going I, K, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, if I blow up my motor, maybe, but... Uh, no, no, you're not. It's a be serious. No, even if All I right. blow up my motor, I'll probably just buy uh, another beef. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. Today we have Nordy. Nordy, thank you so much for making the time, man. Yeah, thank you, man. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell us, what do you drive? Um, so right here, I have a 1992 Honda Civic hatchback. 92 Honda Civic, yeah. man, looks cleaner than some 2018 cars. But before we get into this beautiful build, tell us about yourself, man. Like, when did you remember thinking, I like cars, this is kind of my hobby, this is what I want to pursue? Um, ever since I was little, my, my grandpa had a lot of cars. Hmm. Um, like one car that stood, uh, stood out the most he had a 911 what? at one point yeah and he sold it i was so mad at him but he had a 911 <laughs> at one point and i think that's what really what did it you know and then yeah and then my friends growing up in a neighborhood just loved jdm so then i got hooked on jdm obviously all like the need for speed and all that yeah, know, yeah, all stuff, yeah. yeah all that good stuff um uh yeah so that and then i just automatically gravitated to this platform gotcha well maybe in the future you'll get yourself a 911 yeah, i'm in the same boat man we're all we're all trying i get you i get yeah. you okay um so as we now are progressing and you're in high school what becomes your first car uh when i was in high school my first car was a 1995 four-door accord damn v6 great taste dude yeah. great taste yeah. <laughs> you're like dude, no your that's car, all i can afford <laughs> your, your car brings me back bro it really does i had a lot of good times in that car it was a good car oh. and i would have kept it too but you know it got stolen <laughs> of course it's weird when they don't get stolen yeah, yeah. that sucks man yeah. okay so you obviously that car gets stolen uh, you never recover it no uh, it's no. such a bummer dude yeah. um how do we stumble upon that civic eg um so like yeah the civic eg this platform has always been like my favorite honda mm. so i've always wanted it um and then when i went to college um i was uh, selling some stuff and uh <laughs> i was able to uh get enough money to buy a car and uh that was my first car it was a white eg 94 it was a 94 hatchback um, it was the one I got before this and then I only had it for like a year. I crashed it <laughs> Sad and then and then I bought this one like right after. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Oh, so you so that one, you know gets totaled or whatever and yeah. then Automatically you're like, yeah, okay, I need another one. Yeah, oh, okay. I was like I need another one It's like this is my car, you know, like I, I can't go out with, without this car. <laughs> no, no Honda Accord again <laughs> No, yeah. I My man I <laughs> So what did you find this one? Um, this one I found the first one I found in San Diego, and then this one I found in LA. Okay, Craigslist, yeah. I'm assuming? Yeah, Craigslist. Sick. Okay. Yeah, it was like 12 years ago, so yeah, everyone was buying off Craigslist. Right, so yeah. 12 years ago, you you started to own this car. What was the vision for it? Uh, Back then, there was no vision. It was just like, I wanted the car, and then it'll, <laughs> I'll figure it out later, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now, like, dude, my vision is like, this is a never ending project. The, uh, the wheel bearings and the hubs in the back. Uh huh. So it's a lot quieter. Gotcha. They're like starting to make noise. Really? Yeah. Sure. Going Drug your nuts, huh? Yeah, so it's way better now. And then I also uh, changed some wiring that was giving me issues. So I had like some loose wiring, so I just got a whole new connector. And what was like, it doing with the wiring? Um, it was just tripping up my ECU. It was actually the uh, oh wow the the throttle body. Uh, uh, so was it getting stuck? No, it was just like the electrical signal uh -huh. was cutting out. It was like it wasn't stable. Uh huh. Um, and then so it was a it's an old ass connector, you know. It was like the, it's the original harness. So. I, I just wanted to change that. Yeah. And then it fixed the issue. I put a brand new sensor too, just for. A, That's good. It. Yeah. And it runs perfect now. Be like before, it was having issues. Like I couldn't put it in first gear and then just let the clutch out without putting the glass and then just let it. You know, kind of just uh -huh, let yeah. it creep. I couldn't do that before. What did you have to do? It would just be like yeah, yeah, freaking yeah, yeah. out. You know. But now it, it's totally stable. It could do that. No problem. Gotcha. Yeah. 
It's like all the little things, you know. Yeah, that? it's the little things, bro. Cause like everything's old, and you have to like fix it. Yeah. And update it. No, it makes total sense. Oh my god, she sounds louder. I don't know if I'm. Maybe I'm tripping what? out. Yeah. It sounds louder. Yeah, I think so. I think because my wheel bearing was bad last time I saw you, so you were getting like that weird noise from that. So it probably made the engine sound weird. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like the car sounds louder. I mean, not like substantially super louder, but. Because I didn't do anything to the exhaust or any of that, you know? So. Yeah. I think it was literally just the noise it was making is made it worse. Gotcha. This is the name of the color. Um, it's been respray under your ownership, right? Yes. So the name of the color, I don't know the name of the color. I just know that it's like a Mercedes color. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So like the people I got it resprayed for, I mean, I got it um, resprayed at, um, they were like a co-worker's friend, family type of thing. Mm -hmm. So they gave me a deal and it was just like whatever mm -hmm. the cheapest cool paint that they had that, right. you know, I wasn't like very picky i just knew like i it was a lighter gray than this i just knew i wanted something darker more like gunmetal type gotcha. yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know just uh, and then uh yeah so then they came up with this oh uh, okay so it's yeah. just like a darker yeah okay. like a darker gray it was a little lighter before yeah um and then front end what have you done to it the front end i put this like really cheap type art style um lip on it mm -hmm. And then I have some like smoke corner lights, but that's about it for the front end. Oh, and then I have like this duck all, ducked all like uh, mm -hmm. low, low key. It's like, you, you don't really know it's there. I used to, my first EG, uh, my white one, I had the carbon fiber one. The oh, okay. one where you like yeah, cut yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. thing. And then I was like, I don't want to do that again. I want it to look more stock. So I just kind of cut the smallest hole I could and mm -hmm. just stuck up. Uh, Which is so weird that you did on that side since the K-series intake is on this side. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, get, uh, we'll get into that. Uh, you look at me like, what are you talking about, guy? Uh, but when I got it, it was bad, man. It was like, <laughs> there was no review mirror. Um, the suspension was completely shot. Uh, the wheels it had before, I think, were like mismatched. They weren't even all the same. Sick. Um, the, oh yeah, the, as soon as I drove it home, all the oil spilled out in my uh, driveway. Oh, okay, well, like, at least yeah, they made it to the house. I barely made it home. I barely <laughs> made it home. Let's look at the positive things. So when I bought it... What was it, it like, uh, just uh, rear main seal? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was Everything. Just completely Everywhere. gone. Yeah. Okay. It was just all over the floor. <laughs> and, yeah, so, like, the guy swindled me a little bit, yeah. like, in terms of the condition it was in. But, uh... You know, no, I didn't, they I didn't, lied. I didn't, yeah, I didn't care at the time. I was like, just give me the car. Yeah, like. I get you. I get you. Been there. I <laughs> I'll would have done the same. It later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gotcha. Okay. From my first car, and it's a, uh, uh, I think they're called Kyowa, or mm. yeah, and that's how you say it, Kyowa Racing. It's a random Japanese little little tiny company, uh, Japanese brand. I think they actually like. I looked it up recently, and I think they start they they manufacture them and actually in Taiwan now. Okay. So. It says design in Japan, but they're made, made in, in Taiwan. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> weird. Right? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're just whatever. They're 16 by 7 plus 35. Gotcha. Good, um, great specs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of why I like them. The specs are nice. Um, yeah, five spoke wheels. Just yeah, five very, spokes are amazing. Yeah, I love very five spoke. clean. Uh, and what suspension are you on? Suspension? Oh, yeah. So I have a bunch of suspension work done to this. Um, I have front and rear main uh, sway bars. I have the rear um, uh, brace, uh, and then I have KW suspension V3s. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, baller. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, when you have owned something for 12 years, like you know, there comes a point where you're just like, just take my money. <laughs> Damn, KW is okay. That's dope. Uh huh. Yeah. So I have the KWs, um, and then I have like a bunch of uh, K-tuned uh, parts. Mm. Um, my lower control arms in the rear are Buddy Club, um, and then in the front, upper and low, uh, lower arms are K-tuned, and compliance bushings, all that. Um, and then I have hard race inner and outer tie rods. Hard race, um, 
toe uh, toe adjustment in the rear rear toe adjustment and then uh, what else uh, the sway bar in the front is ST uh, suspension mm. um, and then I think that's pretty much it I have a piece that I haven't put on yet it's kind of just been sitting in my closet I have like uh, the PCI outer tie rods oh interesting the okay. ones I they are adjustable so you can like you know dial in your mm-hmm. bump steer and stuff like that I haven't put those in but those are gonna go in pretty soon gotcha awesome um, man. system my exhaust system that also came from my first car that was like one of the first things I ever bought it's a Tanabi oh nice Tanabi medallion uh, I think that's what it's called medallion yeah uh, edition I bought it so long ago bro yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like yeah it's super old um, it does the job though it sounds it very nice very I stuff. actually have a, a cat down here too no yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah even with the cat yeah. damn sounded great yeah <laughs> take off the cat yeah. Just kidding. no 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 don't do that don't do that I think it was loud when you punched it man yeah it's great okay gotcha okay man yeah. very subtle for the outside very clean uh, spoon a wing it's spoon style mm-hmm. but I got the Sabon um, because the Sabon has the third brake light interesting going on man all right so i'm just keeping it pretty simple it's just like spoon steering wheel spoon shift knob um and recaro seats basically about it and then the sh- uh, the floor mats are like replica oem civic mats they're not they're not the real thing but you know they look pretty much the same thing yeah yeah, yeah. that uh, looks great man super clean interior thank you man the interior was black uh i sprayed these Okay, because I, yeah. I was wondering, I'm like, the interior looks really nice black, but I'm like, I don't think they came in black. But. Yeah, I sprayed the, the door panels, or the, the cloth part, at least. Okay. And then the door seals, too, I sprayed sprayed that black. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Nice touch. And I love that the carpet's black, because it just makes a car yeah. look cleaner. Yeah, I really like that. Man. Any future plans for the interior? Um, Interior... I need to change my seatbelt. I have a seatbelt that I just bought. Look at this piece of crap. <laughs> Look at it. It's like falling apart. That means you apart. use it, man. That means yeah. you use it. So I need to change this. It's just like, to to be honest, it's just like little things, you know? I'm yeah. just like basically like restoring it. You yeah, know? Yeah. I'm just trying to fix every little thing. I'm not, not anything crazy. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm not trying to do like a roll bar or anything yet. You know, I put my, yet. Kid, I put my kid in the back. So <laughs> Yeah, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Um, okay. Well, yeah, very clean interior. I know already. So tell me, what is One Stop Film? One Stop Film Lab is uh, a film lab. Me and my my homies, we started. Um, it's in downtown LA. Okay. Um, it's on Los, Los Angeles Street, between Third and Fourth Street, and we're a tiny little shop. You come by. You we sell film cameras. We sell film. Um, we develop film. We scan film anything film photography related we even have like um film photography like merchandise just like random old stuff like kodak mugs and you know just random cool stuff like that like puzzles kodak Mm -hmm. puzzles like just memorabilia stuff dope um but yeah we we, uh keep it analog and uh we're just trying to push you know the analog photography into the future keep it alive and if i shoot film you guys can help me uh you know get the, all that process it, yeah, process yeah, yeah. it. so yeah you, you can bring your little uh negatives or your uh film cartridges to us and then we uh develop and process it for you and then you can we give you the images that you can then share with your friends and family that's so well yeah on some film man my show has a power plant let's see what we got going oh, yeah, on yeah, i mean yeah. the, the shift knob and everything yeah, yeah. seems to be working and the duct air intake i mean the these series might must be making yeah. some <laughs> serious power yeah, with that man. tanabi exhaust man <laughs> all right here we go here we go oof oof there she is beautiful beautiful man i still can't believe you daily this man because it's getting harder to find things and yeah this is so nice man i mean like i once the gas prices started going crazy <laughs> like i made it a mission because this wasn't really running uh before mm-hmm. and then the 
I was driving an LS 400. Oh, uh, no. Those and, are V8s, no? Yes, bro, V8s. <laughs> You're like, yes, Dude, I remember. The gas price, like, you know, the gas price shot up. I had a V8 fucking <laughs> VIP car that was just <laughs> eating my money. So I was like, I need to fix my Honda. Oh. I fixed it, and like, that's why I started dating it, because oh. it gives great gas mileage, man. <laughs> Yeah, it is really good. Especially go E85, but we'll talk about yeah. that. Uh, what are we looking at, man? So this is a GSR motor B18C1. Um, it has a, it has a GSR tranny, but the gears have been shifted out to B16. Ooh. But the fifth gear is still GSR. Oh, okay. Um, the highway. The final right? gear, uh, and uh, it has. I just installed a. Uh, M factory LSD into the transmission. Oh, nice. Yes. Big difference, I'm assuming. Huge difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, like all these parts are ancient, bro. Like the intake manifold and the headers and the radiator I bought from Password JDM. Oh, yeah. A long Password time JDM. ago. It's cool. A really long, even this. Yeah, it's, you can see it right there. Password the, JDM. The brace. All, basically, everything for my engine I got a long time ago from Password JDM. That's cool, man. Um, this intake tube is custom. Like, I, I didn't buy that. That's, that was made. And then uh, this I just put in. It's like a, a Group M air, air, carbon air filter. That's sick. I think this is the first time I've seen one of those uh, That's supposed intakes. like the style that's supposed to be on the NSX. Um, usually oh, everyone runs the style that's on the EK9 mm -hmm. for these uh, for platforms. For these reasons, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. but I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a little something different. I, chose the the nsx style that looks cool i don't think i've seen that piece maybe yeah i don't think i've seen that. it's piece. a J J japanese brand um they don't sell it here i had to buy it from someone in japan and they shipped it over. dope yeah <laughs> it's going to nsx no it's going to my civic yeah. okay <laughs> yeah sure it'll fit gotcha okay and uh the internals have been uh stock, stock. okay perfect stock internals yeah, um, yeah but it's getting to that time oh man don't I need to don't drive keep it. driving it keep driving it it's just smoking a lot so like i'm not gonna like build it right now but i'm gonna have to do some i love how you're gonna have to i'm gonna have to do some operations on this so like what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna take this all apart i'm gonna attempt to uh change my val valve seal uh, uh valve stem seals mm -hmm. myself gotcha um okay. because this thing is burning way too much oil right now and if it goes wrong, then you just case swap it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a win-win situation. Now that's so cool. Yeah, because you do everything yourself, right? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to do that pretty soon. Cause I'm like tired of having to buy just like a quart of oil every, you know, like a <laughs> uh, couple weeks or whatever. So that's just... why you pulled over during the rollings to put a little <laughs> No, 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 kidding. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, I mean it, it it's uh it's a 20 plus year old motor yeah, man exactly. the fact that it's still running is yeah. so cool uh and it's actually uh, uh oh no the motor is 95. oh shit so it's almost 30 years it's 28 years old the <laughs> motor it says it says right here 95. oh shoot uh, let's see right there yep yep yep, yep yep and then the motor is 95 the platform is 92. so the car the chassis itself is uh 31 years old it has over 200,000 miles on this chassis. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> and then we still wonder why we need to replace things, huh? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we, get, we get mad. What? What do you need bushings? Dude, this is awesome. I, I love it. I mean, uh, I'm sure those uh, hashboards uh, mounts keep a little things a little bit more uh, sturdy in there. Yeah. But other than that, it's, yeah. it's great. Um, uh, it's stock, right? So I'm assuming you have in Dynare, you have in Tunit. No, it's stock ECU stock ecu on top yeah, of yeah i'm trying to like push the stock ecu as far as it will go bro <laughs> like i'm pushing don't it. do that <laughs> i'm pushing it like it's, it, it's like it's getting to the point where like it does not gonna know what it what to do you know and how to stay alive but yeah i'm probably when i do tune it i'll probably go like Honda. okay you know gotcha yeah well keep as is man looks great yeah. and it's, it's driving great for now and can't wait to see the future plans dude Nori, thank you so much, man, for get, taking the time to show us your car, share your story, share your build. I absolutely love the fact that you've owned this car for the long run. I think it, it goes to teach you that uh, this type of builds, they take time, you know, especially mm -hmm. we're in a budget. Mm -hmm. This is the fun part. This is where there's a 16 year old and there's a 56 year old out there mm -hmm. who's looking at this interview and saying, damn, uh, it's not late for me. You know, yeah. I can still <laughs> build it. And that's the cool part, man. So thank you. Thank you for your time and thank you for sharing your story and, and motivating others, man. So any shout outs? Yeah. Shout out to my wife. 
because like she, like she helps me sometimes you know when I need that extra head, set of hands to um, work on my car and she encourages me to, to still build my car and she supports me with my car so yeah shout out my wife um, I don't really have too many shout outs because like no one really works on my car besides me the only person I can shout out is James at Ghostworks mm -hmm. he built my transmission oh, okay yeah yeah he's I mean, a real he's a real cool uh, cool guy legend with the transmission builds for sure. oh is that right okay yeah well i mean i'm sure you have a lot of friends that you met through these cars but uh yeah at the end of the day man uh, if you're doing the, the work yourself then yeah give yourself a shout out man you yeah, oh, yeah. have to give yourself to myself. a shout out yeah, yeah. 12 years in the making <laughs> in this man myself. a lot of a lot of sleepless nights and yeah. headaches you know a love yeah. hate relationship with these cars yeah. so i mean i don't really, really come out with this car like i told you when i met you like that was like my second or third meet and then i've seen you like back to back to yeah. back to back every weekend yeah because i was like fuck it let's just go all in you know so i'm like like five meets in now like five six meets in and i've seen you at five meets now yeah, yeah. pretty much dope yeah, man i like that <laughs> yeah you're like yeah. yeah i've never come out I'm like yeah i've never seen this car and then i yeah. see you every weekend that's dope man um but yeah Thank you so much, man, for sharing your story. Uh, I can't wait to see the secret plans. I'm going to ask you off camera. Uh, you yeah, know? You're going to probably have to interview me again when I'm like 50, if you're still doing this. <laughs> all-wheel all -wheel drive case series has been done, though. I'll just tell you that right now. You oh, know? no, it's not going to be all-wheel drive case series. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. Yeah. No, no worries, man. But uh, uh, yeah, maybe we see it. It's going to be an EV. I'm just throwing ideas Dude. out there. Man, I'm just throwing Dude. ideas out there. I I'm going to make this car last as long as possible. So when oh. gas, gas engines are gone, I'm gonna okay I'm there gonna you go give us a little yeah. nugget there all right yeah, cool for cool sure. man well thank you for the time man definitely appreciate it this is one heck of a build and we love egs around here and so yeah man i'm so glad you're keeping it alive and continue to drive it and uh, yeah man thanks for the time yeah thank you man appreciate it